किसी न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी के आते ही डिस्कशन का दौर शुरू हो जाता है आज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस यानी ए को लेकर किया जा रहा है बहस का मुद्दा है फ्यूचर में बड़ी तादाद में लोगों को रोजगार से हाथ धोना पड़ सकता है लोगों के विचार चाहे कि ऐसे क्यों ना हो लेकिन सही मायनों में ए ने हमारी दुनिया को कल्पना ऐसी भी ज्यादा प्रभावित किया है बिजनेस एजुकेशन हेल्थ केयर फाइनेंस इंडस्ट्री जैसे कई सेक्टर्स के रेवोल्यूशनरी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन को ए तेज रफ्तार दे रही है request my panelists to please come on stage first we have dr maninder singh dean of academic affairs and professor computer thapa university welcome sir then we have dr sudarshan ayengar hod computer science and engineering iit roorkee welcome sir Colonel Rajiv Harbour, Senior Associate Director, Indian School of Business. Welcome, sir. Over to you, Adit. Thank you, sir. So. in our first session also we heard a lot about ai and now we are talking about generative ai which is more specific so since uh, i got to know about this session there is only one question that came to my mind and i'm sure that question may be in many people's mind over here as well can there be ai aditi conducting this session with you guys dr saab and can she be as passionate as talkative as i am yeah thank you very much uh, to the audience to you people thank you for joining sir thank you and i'm sure everybody is uh, looking forward to this session and the sort of insights uh, and whatever learnings that you take from here and the question that i have asked i have heard that question from many people and that has been the biggest fear about the technology and ai specifically so yeah as you asked that is it possible to have a replica of aditi sitting here and taking it's perfectly possible even three of us can be in a virtual mode sitting so here so probably in our uh, next uh, summit we might have them conducting the session but would the guys enjoy that that's another question no but as a human i would like to have a face to face conversation for sure uh but let let me tell you one or two things which are happening in this ai world just 10 days back there was a news from uh, hong kong that there was a conversation which was happening between a uh, employee and a manager and uh, there was a ai at the back and it was speaking with the same tone as his superior would have done and it was told that you transfer this much of money to secretly to a particular account then this guy got yeah there there may be some issue with this kind of call so he said uh, i cannot do this sir so i want to have face to face conversation he said okay i am sending you a zoom link and it is available you can look at uh, media so they said okay no problem i am sending you a zoom link as soon as this guy clicked on a zoom link there was a perfect setup as is being like this his boss was sitting there are few employees were sitting and he was talking and later on it was found that his boss and those audience all were ai replicas and this is in the news and it has happened now and the same question you have asked so it's possible to do that so the ethics is one another thing which is going to come up when we talk later and probably regulation becomes more important over there it is it is <laughs> it is <laughs> that's why the educational institute see when when we started professor batish was also telling when we started our journey we thought of that we'll have only one program which is computer engineering because many of the institutes have started ai software engineering data science uh, information technology computer science engineering computer science and business system and whole of the audience was who sir wanted to take admission was confused what to do so we thought that we'll do some interventions so we did intervention at the elective focus level but now those things are changing because the ai has already changed the whole setup mm. now we are going to start a new b b ai ml program mm. 
but this will not have those focus areas it will have different verticals and within that verticals i think ai literacy as professor bhatish already told ai literacy is the word and going beyond professor sethi also told that what else we need to prove that we are super power so these things are required so we are thinking of digital or ai city mm -hmm. ai literacy is the another thing which is going to come in a near short span of time interesting dr ayanga just building on what sir said just now so probably next summit in a couple of years time i might have or we might have uh, on our platform dr sudarshan ayanga speaking in hindi and that is generative ai so the question is are people going to lose the job or are and and how about human response to ai Firstly, I can speak good Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> and um, as with the question um, of people being better off as uh, AI clones than themselves, is a little disturbing for humans in general. But the fact is fact; it is going to be better than humans. Better even is, let's say, as you were saying, will will uh, AI Aditi replace Aditi? Definitely yes. it will be super better than you if it knows your style your style of talking your the, the way you use your vocabulary the way you use your phrases and and so on and so forth generative ai when customized is something very different and that's where the world is heading towards right now you create a smart replacement for sudarshan but customized to the style of sudarshan see my accent it's it's not very uh, very not northish you can make out i'm from south so can you emulate this accent definitely yes hell yes it it's very easy to emulate it and we are very close to doing that now the point is let, let, let me just jump in you said ai aditi can replace aditi okay she can customize my style but how about my response to a situation or human response to a situation which is quite different from Dr. Saab, Dr. Maninder Singh, Dr. Sudarshan Ayengar, or or Aditi Tyagi. Probably, we, if we are put in a similar situation, we are going to respond to it in a very different manner. So, even if a machine is customized, it can emulate me. Probably, it can copy me. But can it trigger the similar sort of reaction that I would have in a challenging situation? This is a good question. So, what it will do is, uh, let's say, it will emulate you or me. but when required it uses the wisdom of the world so it's basically trained on all possible situations of so for instance uh, you have a tiff with your colleague mm -hmm. right you type in that on a typical um, uh, chat gpt like interface mm -hmm. it's completely ai driven what that does is looks at the world's problems so far looks at this kind of a situation was being handled by this kind of a solution and here is your solution that way it is sudarshan with sudarshan's accent aditi with aditi's style and vocabulary but with the wisdom of the world and that's going to be whopping awesome as you can see right and we are not just close but we are almost there right now it's awesome or uh, how many people over here feel threatened because personally i feel threatened i don't want machines to take over i'm sorry uh, uh, nothing uh, <laughs> against the technology but i want to remain unique how many people here want to remain unique and would not want their clone or ai in their name just raise your hands please so i can see see so i think it is 60% people they don't want to be emulated or copied or cloned and uh, and and do you think you can be replaced yes or no So, so is it the humans trying to convince themselves no no we are not facing any threat or is it more like it is it is real it is for a fact that humans can never be replaced by ai again a very good question so there is this beautiful quote which is set a thief to catch a thief so when you are being super smart as an ai put another ai this side all right it, it it will tell me that for instance when you are playing chess yeah face to face we know you are not cheating but what if you are at the comforts of your house i am at the comforts of my house using a fantastic ai engine to see the next move while it is very easy for me to defeat you if i use the ai engine but it is very easy for your engine to detect that i am using ai engine mm -hmm. you, you get what i mean so he, here's a here's a upper hand of the detection tool over the cheating tool but then as they say when there is vulnerability you tend to cheat 
right? There's a small gap between research progress where people come out with AI technologies. It takes just a few days, few yards to come out with detection tools. Where if someone's cheating, for instance, when my um, mom and me first went to buy a television, I was looking at this big, beautiful television with you know, whatever, I mean, 65 inches television uh, with T20 going on there. But for my mom, some fellow there took and showed uh, um, Mangal Bhavan. My mom was sold. He said, this is the TV I want. <laughs> so the point there is less of television, knowing more of what's the vulnerability of this person. But imagine my mom had an AI engine which would say, this fellow is trying to cheat you by knowing what's your weak point. And my mom would say, wait, I'll call my son. Then saying, there is football, here is Chopai, I'll choose this over that. Right? So the set of thief is, uh, to catch a thief is how it's going to be. And for this, we need fantastic education in the country. Where what is called the um, gain of function research is the term that came during COVID. The point is that if you're going nuclear, I better go nuclear. You're doing it for peace, I'll also do it for peace. But if you're going, I'll also go nuclear. If you're coming out with a, a bio war tomorrow, I better know my gain of function there. Similarly, when someone's doing um, um, you know, AI advances, it's very important that we also keep in pace. How do we keep in pace? Through education. How do we educate? Through institutes. What are these institutes? Nothing like the institutes of this place especially. That is where I come, if you can give me a minute. There's a time when people from Bangalore, I'm from Bangalore, Mysore region, people from there would, would say, oh, here's a person from Punjab. Why are you here? There are no many engineering colleges in Punjab, that's why I'm here. But I am here from Mysore for a simple reason, that in a small radius of a few kilometers, you have IIT Roper, ISER, Tapar, PEC, UIET, several great private partners, Indian School of Business, this is like the research triangle of North Carolina with three top universities. Here we have a dozen universities. A lot can happen over a few kilometers. Like they say, a lot can happen over coffee. A lot can happen over a few kilometers. The point is for all of us to get together as institutes and make this AI education happen. As I say, tier one, tier two, tier three institutes, there is something called a super tier institute, which is the union of all these tier one, tier two, tier three institutes. We must basically talk. Talk like this and be coordination and cooperation. Absolutely. On Absolutely. a bigger scale, larger scale. Kanal Saab, you have been enjoying this conversation. At least uh, that's what your expressions are telling me. You might be setting me up because uh, Dr. Ayangdar has uh, spoken about setting up. So you do set up people in uh, Forge, right? Against anti-terror ops. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. a Forge in a business school and this whole discussion about AI. How do you how do you process that? Okay, firstly, Aditi, uh, I must say, and that's why I was smiling, and and that is that no AI can ever replace Aditi. Huh? It can't be <laughs> as pretty as smart. And let me also say uh, that no bits, bytes, and so on can ever replace the human neurons. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. At least you gave me the assurance that I'm irreplaceable. No, Thank definitely. you so much. Huge round of applause for him. I know I'm selfish. He has praised me, so I'm asking you to clap, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you another example of human ingenuity. Huh? Uh, very simple. See, nowadays, in various colleges, the biggest problem is that students copy uh, from chat GPT and bring up their essays and everything. So it becomes a major problem. So what, you know, one college did, very interesting. So they gave uh, a, a, a sort of paragraph on which uh, you were to modify or reduce or whatever. And in that paragraph, towards the end, they wrote, if you have reached here, please note that there is no response required to this essay. Okay. Now, when these guys, whoever gave it to Chat GPT, Chat GPT doesn't realize the significance, right? That there is no response required. So they made a response, a summary or something. So whoever responded got a zero. Whoever didn't respond has actually read through the thing. So, yeah, so keeping that in mind, I feel that human ingenuity will always be ahead of AI or anything that may be coming up. And uh, today, uh, in fact, uh, I was reading something and I realized 
Uh, I give you a very, the basic topic today, being that uh, impact of AI on employment. I would give an example. Now, in advanced nation, say 200 years before, 80% were farmers. Now, if I today go to that farmer 200 years back and tell him that in 2024, in that same nation, only 1% are farmers, he will be flabbergasted. He will say, Where are, what are these 79% doing? Right? And if I tell him that those 79% are not only thriving, they have all the facilities of Netflix, they have all the facilities of flying, they are living a life like no other ones. That, I'm sure that person will never believe me. Now, if that 200 years, if I take it today, out here, don't you think we are the same farmer? Frankly, we are all flabbergasted that, you know, that AI has come, AI will do this, AI will do that. I think AI will make our life better. We will be able to live this life much better. We will be able to enjoy the nuances of life. We will not be doing that repetitive, boring stuff. We will leave it to the AI to do it. And I'll give you another example. A, a, a research and a survey which was done by Gartner in 2022, it said, uh, it asked about people that, uh, <clears throat> what is the, how many jobs are created by AI versus job taken away by AI? You'll be happy to know that 3.2 million jobs were created and 2.8 were taken away. Right? Wow. And one more example. Statista, if you see, has done a survey uh, for the, if I may say, the Australia, the Asia Pacific region to identify whether people are afraid of AI. I'll just take it out. They are nervous regarding AI. So I'm reading out how the results are. Huh? And let me see if you can catch the, what is there in that. Australia, 69% people felt that they are nervous about AI. In the world, average was 52%. India was 58%. South Korea, 44%. And Japan was 23%. Can anyone see the dichotomy in this? See, the dichotomy is the, the nations which are most advanced are the least nervous. It. And we are more confident about ourselves. Wow, this is quite an interesting observation. That's very interesting because they know that AI is not going to take away their jobs. It is going to facilitate their jobs. Back to you. Sir, the point about human ingenuity, would you like to build on that or add to it? Yeah, see, the discussion is not here that AI, AI will take me out of this scenario. Mm -hmm. It's not that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's as uh, a younger also said, see, it's a replica of Aditi with more wisdom, but it is, it is not going to take you away. Anybody here can say that you are going to live forever. Not possible. Okay. We are humans. Okay. So we have to go one, one day, but what if, if I can preserve your wisdom, that is what we want. So there are our forefathers who have gone away, mm -hmm. but they had that wisdom. We talk about our Indian scriptures and their wisdom. Why can't we take and preserve them so that they can be later used? So, so, so sir, just to uh, play the devil's advocate, my wisdom has been acquired over a period of time through certain experiences. So I would want my future generation to acquire wisdom through experiences not through artificial intelligence, no? No, 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 that, that's not the theme. See, you need to understand where AI is. Let me give you one example. Mm -hmm. uh, a few years back when I was going to this Chandigarh airport, I saw in the urinals it were written, do not spit tobacco in urinals. Punjabi Jilikyasi, thukko na paan pishavich. You tell me, is it a translation? So we have come long way. Now, if you talk today, I was just going through uh, chat GPT 3.5 and chat GPT 4. I'll just read it for you. And you try to understand what is happening. Mm -hmm. And if we, if we put that context, 
See, these, these machines and wisdom, it's all developed by humans. Nobody is against humanity. Okay? But only thing is we need to understand how they are going to facilitate us. Let me read it for you. So I had given a chat GPT 3.5, a query. Pinni kiwe bandi hai. Okay? It's uh, chat 3.5. It says, Pinni ik Punjabi pakwan hai, jo saag makki di roti ate makki di dal nal tiyar kitti janda hai. Can you imagine? Then the people say, yaar, AI ko kya ho gaya hai? Now I'll read it for you, what chat GPT-4 said. Okay? Now you see the context and what we need to do in India for this. So if you are, in, I teach uh, network security, and in the first class only I tell people, you tell me what is the uh, English of pop, everybody sin, sin, sin. What is the English of pun? Sir, good uh, deeds. Is it pun? We have not given that context. That context need to be given by us, Indians. Then only those things will come up in these chat GPTs and all kind of world. So that context is missing. And unless until the education is given in that area, so we are not going to uh, help ourselves. I'll just read it for you. Pinni ki mein bandhi hai chat GPT-4. Pinni ki Punjabi mithai hai, jo khas karke sardhiyan vich banai jandhi hai, e setli bhot changi manni jandhi hai, Pinni banana da tarika, ik kap keo, ik kap pata, ik kap gud. Far, far better. The reason is, we have given that kind of a know-how, that kind of a computation power, that kind of a data set. Now, once we are doing it, then the country like India, the biases will come. If I have a 90% people from one particular segment, I go to them and query about something, they are going to speak, I am I'm going to create a database, and when I am going to churn out that database, that is going to speak their language only. So those are the pain points which need to be addressed. It's not that AI is, everybody clapped when professor said humanity. We are not against, none, none of the computer scientists is against this. Only, only thing is we are going to facilitate each one of us to have a better life. And that can only happen with the education. And that education set up, that's why we are having this kind of conversation. Yeah. So Dr. Ayanga, I would just build on what Dr. Maninder Singh said. Here we are talking about something which is there to facilitate. But at the same time, we are also seeing, as he mentioned, chat GPT. I see many people just going there, okay, I need to find tags, chat GPT, suggest tags for this, copying the tags, not using their own mind, and just putting it out there. So the idea is to facilitate. But at times, majority is taking this as a dependency and not to use their own mind to figure out something. How do you see that, that quote to me? Okay, so um, here's a quick example that I'll give you from 1990s. Let's say, imagine the roads of Chandigarh, Bangalore, Mumbai in 1990. You put your hands out and then stop an auto. Okay, the auto rickshaw fellow will go a little ahead and then stop. That's basically attitude because it's like, I'm busy. And then you'll say, He'll say, Kaha jana hai? You'll say, then, then he'll think and say, mm, 1.5. I mean, if it's, 100, if it's 100, it'll be 150. And then you'll say, why so much? Because mujhe khali aana hai. Etc, etc, etc. And finally, he will not even take you. Right? If he takes you also, you're not sure whether he's going to take you there in the shortest possible route or rob you there and exploit at the end, end by saying that, sir, you said 175, but you're giving 125. Now, Atavala comes, stops, gives the flashes a beautiful smile at you and says, Ajaye, give me the pin. You see the pin, you sit. Come. He will not ask you where to go. And when you're waiting also, you know when exactly he will come because you have your Uber app or Ola app, right? And after reaching, he flashes back another smile saying, sir, feedback, please. Look at 1990s arrogance and 2024's extreme hospitality. What is doing this? AI. The software that they are using tells you exactly what's the shortest route. If it's the P car, it says 1.25 is the reasonable, reasonable uh, you know, peaking, uh, spiking up of the rate. Now imagine the same AI looks at your facial expression as you're using the app and then says, this person appears to be tensed and can even pay 3.5 times the fare. Exploitation. Oh my God. Right? So that, that again is an AI which keeps a check on the ethics part of the software. 
Now we can discuss on the Uber app which flashes a smile on the face of the customer and the Autowala or Carwala or look at the possibility of using the camera technology there and look at your facial expression and look at the tensed up mood of the customer and then charge 3.5, right? The boon and bane of a knife, the boon and bane of AI has to be discussed but we must be aware. To be aware of all these things, upskilling, reskilling, skilling is very important and some of the best teachers in the, in the world are in our country. Some of the best learners also, I'm not saying, statistic says this. Some of the best learners in the world are in our country. There's an old Zen saying, when the student is ready, the master arrives. Here, where there are some bunch of students who are ready, I'm talking in terms of uh, millions, the previous uh, session, we were talking about 600 million people less than 25. They are the teachers. They are the students. There are a bunch of trained teachers. They are the, you know, trainers. Train and ensure that the Uber app does what it's supposed to do and not what it's supposed to not do. Upskilling, reskilling, and nothing like a place like our own Punjab, where, as I said, I, let me reiterate, so many institutes together should get together and make it a super tire uh, uh, state with great educational outcome. Thank you. you. You are in full agreement with him? Yes, I am in agreement with him, but uh, I would also, since he has been giving some good examples of Punjab, even I would like to give one, right? <laughs> so, see, uh, uh, there was a research again done, sorry I keep going back to research, uh, in which uh, there were two sets of people kept. One, who were not given access to chat GPT, and uh, other group which had access to chat GPT. And then they were given a problem that suppose some problem related to marketing and how to improve marketing and, and so on. Okay. Now both groups gave their responses and one group used chat GPT as much as they want. And who do you think uh, aced it? I'll tell you. See, when A plus grading of the solutions Definitely the people who did not have chat GPT got A+, plus, more gradings. But where it was the average, I mean, average solutions, chat GPT group won. Now, why I am saying uh, the example of Punjab, and I would bring in here that I, uh, in the army, have worked quite a lot in Punjab, especially in Abohar. Uh, near Abohar, there is something known as a place called Govindgarh, and that is not Mandi Govindgarh, it is Govindgarh. Where, where you have the canal flowing, the IG Indira Gandhi Canal, which is uh, flowing out there. And in uh, Abohar, I was fascinated to see one thing, and that is what is known as Maruta. I, how many of you have heard about Maruta? Please raise your hand. One or two people out there. Okay, Maruta is nothing but, it's not anything related to Maruti, but it is doing the same function, and that it is that pump from with which you draw out water, is used to make a vehicle out of it and they can tow their uh, trailers and move around uh, comfortably right and that is somebody's genius that that person that that motion which is there to draw water is being used to turn wheels and of course that maruta never had i mean uh, lights or there was and there was no requirement of uh, any license because this was not a vehicle recognized by the government right so uh, if Chat GPT was given that, I'm sure they would have never come up with a solution like this. In Punjab, what we, we have a lot of jugad, as they say. That jugad, I can assure you, can only come from the human mind. Right? It is not possible from elsewhere. So I have thoroughly enjoyed the session. How about you guys? Did you enjoy it? Very good. I'm so happy. And I wish we could have a longer session. But we have more sessions uh, coming up, so I would have to say thank you gentlemen for joining. So I'll give you, I'll hand over the mic, just keep the questions short so that the answer can be... So, so you had asked the panelists that you have acquired all your experience by the years to come and you would like your future to acquire the same knowledge by the years to come rather than the AI. But why so? 
let them have the that experience by the AI or in the shorter span, and let them acquire much more, uh, much more to acquire in the years to come. That is what evolution is for. I, I think Dr. Maninder can answer uh, this question, tricky question, much better. Okay, so, so uh, just because you have raised a point, you have made a point about my response. So I'll tell you why. I feel that uh, tackling a situation brings you some real knowledge, and as you come across different sort of challenges, you evolve. Because you have to deal with that particular challenge, particular situation, and you come, sometimes you come up with the solution, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and that's what the journey of life is all about. So I was thinking more from, a, from an emotional viewpoint rather than cognitive side of our brain. So That's perfectly fine, Aditi. Uh, nobody is questioning that and nobody yeah, should perfectly question. fine. That's right. It. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> see, perfectly fine. See, the thing is like here, again, I'm, I'm going to repeat what I said previously. <laughs> I'll give you one example. Yeah. Uh, we we yeah. have seen people with dementia. In what kind of a bad shape their later part of the life is. So can't we have a system or nobody, uh, nobody in the crowd will say no, because again, she said we are emotional, right? So the thing is like, can't we have a system where your near dear one's voices are recorded and they are played on and off to this dementia person and he's thinking they are with me? And he may come out of this kind of a uh, uh, problem sooner than, we, we can have divide, those kind of things can come up. Fair enough, sir, but then I would say, then this person should not feel that the voices that he's getting, or she's getting to hear is the world, because the world is more diverse, you know. So my point is when I, the, my line of argument is, if I may use that word, that different people experience different things, and that is what makes this world so different and so beautiful. That is my, that is the only point I'm trying to make. No, and that, that's, that, that's perfectly fine. No, no argument on this. See, the, the thing which we are going to, uh, which are, we are discussing here mm -hmm. is to utilize AI for what? To for betterment of us only. Exactly. It's yeah. not for the machines. Sure. Okay, so we are utilizing machine knowledge to help us. And that's what is the crux of the... So uh, what I'm basically, going to tell uh, uh, Jagmeet Ji is... It's, it's basically Aditi yeah, and Aditi yeah. with wings. Which one do you want? Aditi and Aditi with wings. Aditi on steroids versus Aditi. You have the option of not using um, uh, your wings, but given one, um, will I say, I don't want aeroplanes, I want to walk. I've been walking all this while. That's the difference. <laughs> so 3.5 to 4. And, and wing and the aeroplane and Aditi and Aditi with wings cannot be compared, no? No, no, 3.54 is that. If yeah. 3.5 to 4 can... Uh, so uh, this is an interesting pinning, conversation. I'm sure uh, there would be people who would be on your side. There would be people who would be on my side. By the way, how many people are on my side? Can you please raise your hands? I'm on so, your side. Oh, yeah, wow. So the, the debate is over. Thank you so much. And a huge round of applause. And I wish we could just carry on. But I'm afraid we don't have time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much all for the valuable insight. I request everyone to please stay on stage. Now I would like to invite Mr. Jagmi Jammu, Regional Head, New Delhi, Punjab, Haryana, JKLH to please come on stage and felicitate our honourable guests. First we have Dr. Maninder Singh, Dean of Academic Affairs and Professor Computer Trauma University. Thank you so much sir. Senior Associate Director, Indian School of Business.